What's up, Get Better Basketball community? I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focused. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you a great small-sided game, or SSG, that we would use with our team against a, an opponent who had a really good shooter or really good star player. They might have had some other good contributing players, but they had this one player who really stood out against the other players on the team. And we've all been in this position before. I call this SSG 4 versus 4 star. There's a lot of different names for it that coaches have. And it's really, really simple in principle. So you have your 4 versus 4. You could do 3 versus 3. You could do, you could do 5 versus 5 if you wanted to in the half court. This player is our star player. There's different ways to play it. The first way you can play it is whenever this player scores, they get double points. You could go back and forth. If the defense gets a stop, they get to go on offense. They might get a point for a stop, and then they go on offense. The stop player scores, and then they have an opportunity for those double points. You could have it within a time limit, X amount of time, whatever you want to do with your team, but... This is one way that you can do it. Another way you could do it is you could play the 10 and you could say every time the star scores, they get five points. So two baskets from the star and the game is over, right? So that's just another way to look at it and it really makes their points worth that much more. So now you're playing your half court man to man and this star, you know, uh, they might get some type of, you know, back screen and they're trying to cut to the basket. It's going to really force this player to communicate. I need to switch. I need to go here. Um, I need to make a switch. Or you're going to fight through. Whatever you're going to do, this player is going to look to get in and help on it. So this is something you can do. Now, if you play a box and one against a team that has a star play, you could certainly incorporate this as well and go box and one on each side. But the double points, the five points, you could also do one basket and just say first basket from that star player and that team wins the round you play the five rounds um and first team that gets to those five rounds and you know i think it helps on both ends because sometimes you have a player teams might go boxing one on and it teaches your players how to screen for them and how that player how they need to move and you can really think about a game plan for that we've had teams that have gone boxing one on us and we've also had played against teams that had really good star players so this helped us on both ends of the spectrum but it's a really simple drill and there's other things you probably wheels are spinning you're like i can i can, there's other things i can do with this drill you could put um what i like to do with ssg is something that's called a constraint. So you might say that this star player, oh, they can only shoot three-pointers, just a great three-point shooter. Oh, they can only score out of the pick and roll because they're a point guard. So now you have a situation where that star player has the basketball, and instead of getting screens that way, you're going to get a player who's going to, I don't know, we'll just say this player is going to come up and set a ball screen and you're going to have to blitz them or whatever your coverage is going to be in the ball screen. This player can only score in the post. This player can only score. So you can put a number of different constraints on this drill as you can with any SSG that really can diversify it for your players. We use this. We use this with teams that had a player that really stood out. We use this with with teams that had a player that, yep, they were really, really good, but they had a couple of other solid players um, because we might have wanted to like, yep, you're not going to leave this player. In the press, you're not going to double team or in in ball screen situations, you're not going to blitz. You're going to hug this player. You're going to stay with them. Oh, but they have another good player who's a post player and we need to make an, an adjustment for them. Or we have another good player who's their point guard and we need to make an adjustment. So it helped us game plan wise when we were planning for teams. We'd look at the scouting report and we would play something like this to adjust to what our opponents did. Of course, you can do it without the star qualities and make it like a four versus four shell drill and you could have constraints and things in it. But this was great for us. I get a lot of questions from coaches. What do you do? Do you automatically go to a boxing one or a triangle and two when teams have stud players? Maybe, if that's something you like to do. But you also can play your base defense, your man-to-man. Or you could play your zone defense and still have this star player double points. 
five points, games to ten. Um, however you want to do it, or it could be one that one basket, and, you know, they're sort of, um, I've heard coaches say, uh, the golden child. Um, I think it was Coach Shelangowski when he talked about this drill. He had a golden child on each team, and their points were double points, and he called it that. So I always called it four versus four star. I've heard it called golden child. I've heard it called uh, other names as well. The main point is that it's a great drill or SSG you can do with your team. Defend that star player, but also if you have a star player and you want to get them the basketball and teach them how to deal with this type of defense and how to, how they have to move or if a team's playing boxing one against them, you have to obviously practice that and prepare them for that. So it could work on both ends, primarily a defensive drill, but certainly could work for the offense and has its offensive benefits as well. If you like this drill or SSG, make sure you hit that like button down below. Turn on your notifications and subscribe to Get Better Basketball on YouTube for more great video breakdowns each and every week. As always, get better every day.